batteries. Learning that not all rubbish is rubbish. Anna's family knows from an early age that recycling is an important part of life in Sweden. Uh, now I have a big family, we are five, and uh, uh, I have less uh, garbage because uh, the prefab food is more garbage and now I cook uh, food from scratch. Her routine is the result of decades of work by the Swedish government to encourage its citizens to reduce, reuse and recycle. The actual rubbish Anna's family produces is minimal and is eventually put to good use. And this is where Anna's rubbish ends up, in a waste processing plant in Uppsala. Every year about 300,000 tons of waste is burned here and that provides around 200,000 homes with heat. I can say that 50% is household waste and 50% is industrial waste. The Vattenfall plant relies on Sweden's rubbish to help heat the city. And the, in, in the bank there's a big clow, and that clow takes uh, the waste up to the boiler. The rubbish is piled up, sorted and then burned. You can look inside here and it's a uh, thousand degrees. The heat produced here warms up water which makes its way into radiators that heat homes throughout the city. But Sweden is so efficient at recycling that they actually import some rubbish from neighboring countries to keep up with demand at these power plants. Some potential waste donors include the UK, Ireland and several African nations. UK can be interesting in the future. We, we, we have done some test, uh, test uh, deliveries from the UK and it works. So, so it could be a market for the future. And the idea of burning waste for heat is an economic boon for the country. It's part of our energy system as well. So the municipalities earn money uh, for the citizens, the environment is better. And of course for Sweden as a country, for our GDP, this is uh, a very valuable technology. While Swedes are doing everything they can to minimize their waste, the paradox is that they need more rubbish in order to help sustain their environmentally friendly agenda. Linda Nyberg, Al Jazeera, Uppsala, Sweden.